would do a video to kind of summarize how my show went and um, what my plans are for now. So I'm going to get started. So I got started in women's physique. I actually started competing two years ago. Um, if you look back at some of my older things, I had lost 43 pounds. My goal was to compete actually when I started in bikini. Um, I got a coach. I had lost my 43 pounds. Um, I really wanted to compete. So I got a coach and looking at my body, she said, you have more muscle and I tend to have that um, hourglass shape that people like in physique. So she's like, why don't you try physique and we'll go from there and see how you do. And if you like it, we'll stick with it. Otherwise, we could do bikini. So I did a 12-week prep with her and ended up competing last fall in women's physique. Um, I didn't really know much about competing when I started competing. And I'm very glad that I did physique over bikini. I do not have that flirtatious... Um, crazy personality that a lot of the bikini competitors have. I don't like to get up on stage, uh, shake my booty. I can't do that. I'm not a flirt. I can't, I can't have that on stage. Um, I envy that of bikini competitors, but I like being able to get on stage, just hit the mandatory poses that I need to hit and not have to worry about that. I mean, you still want your personality to show through, even in physique. You want to be flowing. You want to look very poised. But you don't kind of show off quite like bikini competitors do. So I had done my 12-week prep. I competed last fall in um, figure. And towards the end of competing, I had started watching a lot of the physique girls. I really like their posing routines. And I like the size of the women more. Um, I really got kind of addicted to training. I like seeing how much size I can put on. I like watching my body grow. Um, I know that's not for everyone, but I like those big cap shoulders and those really muscular backs um, and the really lean look that women's physique has. So at the end of my contest year last year, I um, did some research and I found a coach that does women's physique in my area. My previous coach only did figure and bikini. Um, so I did find a new coach that competes also in women's physique and I started training with her in January um, to get ready for the show that I just did. I did one in October and I just did this one um, in November. So I started working with her in January um, to put on as much size as I could. Um, so we started out actually doing a bulk and then doing a 20 week cut before my show for this year. Um, since I tend to hold fat, we did get down to 6% body fat for this show, which is by far the lowest I've ever been. Competing in, uh, figure, I got down to about 10%, and so, um, like I said, I got down to 6%. This last show, I did do figure and women's physique. The previous show I did in October, I only did women's physique. Um, I just got some comments that I was maybe not quite muscular enough for women's physique, so I thought I'd go ahead and do figure still and see what the judges thought and see where I ended up in both. Um, so that was kind of my thought process with that. Um, picking a competition. Um, like I said, I knew that I wanted to put on muscle. So the last two years I have only competed in the fall and that's kind of my goal right now to compete next fall and spend this off season having almost a year to build up more size. Um, sorry, my dog's crying in the background. Um, I like to have a year between shows. A lot of people show in the spring and fall. I do a 20 week prep. That's kind of what my body needs. I don't like to drop fat too quickly. I like doing a slower, longer prep. So for me, it gives me plenty of time to bulk back up, work on putting on muscle before I have to cut. I feel if you compete in the spring and fall, you're just constantly cutting and you don't have the amount of time really you need to put on size and since that is my goal for me I just think it's better to give myself a year to spend a few months bulking before I have to start cutting um, and that's kind of my thought process but picking a competition I did one natural show this year and I did one I guess untested show this year um, I think that's personal preference NPC is very popular around my area so that's why I tend to stick to NPC shows um, I know a lot of people compete in a lot of natural organizations, and I'm not 
The only benefit I think to competing in one organization is you only pay one organization fee. You don't have to pay for a different organization and sign up for shows every time you compete. And so for me, that kind of works just sticking with MPC. I buy one MPC card a year and I compete that whole year on that one card. But I mean, do whatever works for you. If you have a bunch of different kinds of shows in your area, try a few. I think it's important to try different shows, see where you fit, see what you like. They all kind of have different requirements, different things they're looking for. So see where you fit. I don't think you need to be tied down to one organization. Um, there was a natural show in my area at the beginning of October. I just wasn't ready for it quite yet, but I believe it's an NGA show. So their enrollment fees aren't that crazy. So if I decide to do that, that's something you can do that and NPC. So don't feel tied down to one organization. Kind of look and see what's in your area. I don't like to travel too far. I traveled two hours for this last show. So I kind of look in my area and I see what shows are available and that's kind of what I compete in. But do whatever works for you. If there's a certain area you want to stick to, see what organizations are having shows in your area and that's kind of how I pick a show. Um, money. Competitions are expensive. Um, I'm not going to lie. It is a very, very expensive hobby. To me, it is worth it. But that is something you're going to have to look at and see if it's something that's going to work for you. Um, I do have a coach, so I pay every month for my coach. Um, I pay for supplements every month. I don't take a ton of supplements, but again, that is a cost. Um, my suit was like $450. You can buy used suits, um, so don't think that that's what you're going to have to spend, but suits are expensive. If you can compete in figure, you have heels. My tanning for this last show was $130. Um, I do use glue on nails just because with work I can't really have fake nails anyway. So glue on for me works because then I can just pry them off after the show. Um, I've learned to do my own makeup. Last year I did pay someone to do my makeup. That's $100. You have travel fees if you're traveling anywhere. I paid about $280 for a hotel for the weekend because I was down there for three days. Um, I mean, they're not cheap. So I spend several hundred a month easy on competing and staying in shape. Gym membership, I mean, you just have to look at it and see if that's something that you're willing to do before you do it. But like I said, it is expensive, but it is very worth it. Um, what you need for competition? I mean, really all you need to compete is if you are doing physique, you need a suit. And if you're doing figure suit and heels, I mean, you can learn to do your own makeup. I know people who do their own tans. I mean, you can make it as cheap as possible. I mean, it's not going to be cheap, but you, there's things you can do to kind of negate some of those big costs. So, I mean, be flexible. Um, look at used suits. The thing, if you do decide to buy a used suit, make sure that person is up close to your height. And your weight that you're going to be otherwise the suit is not going to fit and you can only alter a suit so much so if you are going to buy a suit make sure you ask somebody how tall they are what weight they compete at and make sure that's similar to the size that you're going to be if you can find one used in your area or if your trainer is someone that's even better because that gives you a chance to try it on before you buy it if you do buy a suit and you are unable if it doesn't fit resell it don't try to wear a suit that's not going to fit you because that is something that on stage you're going to notice. You can tell when someone's suit does not fit them properly and it will not show off the body to your body the best that it can be shown. And that's very important. So make sure your suit fits very well. Um, supplements. Okay, like I said, supplements are expensive. Um, right now, I currently take a protein. I take creatine, I take glutamine, I take L-carnitine, I take um, sometimes pre-workout depending on how I feel. I try not to take it every day, um, but I do take it, especially since I work third shift on days I need that push. Um, there's probably some others I take, but I try to tend to keep my supplement routine pretty basic. Um, I don't like to spend a ton on supplements, and it seems that no matter what I do anyway, but those are the big, big ones that I think that I spend my money on. Um, let's see. This last show, like I said, um, the first show I did in October, I did a natural show. It was an NPC natural show. There only ended up being about five of us competing in women's physique. 
and I placed third, third, I placed third, sorry, I can't remember, um, and it was a really good experience, I'm glad I did this smaller show, it gave me a chance to get on stage, do my routine, and try out some different things, um, and see what worked for me posing wise, see how I looked compared to other girls, and kind of get out some of those, that anxiety that, um, I was afraid I was going to have doing my routine. So I'm really, really glad I did that show. It gave me an idea of how I looked and um, it gave us a chance to play around with Peak Week because um, the Peak Week we did this year was very different than the Peak Week I've done in the past. So it gave us some things to kind of tweak and stuff for this show I did this last weekend that was a lot, lot bigger show. So this last weekend I did the MPC Kentucky Muscle which ended up being a giant show. It's always a giant show. Um, it was also the first time I'd ever done a two-day show. So Women's Physique, we actually did our pre-judging Friday night, which for me was very difficult because I had to do my peak week, prepare to go on stage Friday night and cut water. But then I had to get up Saturday, and I ended up doing the pre-judging for figure on Saturday morning, and then the finals for Women's Physique and figure Saturday night. So it ended up being a very, very long two days. Um, just because I was cutting water, I had no water, and my calories were pretty low for two days. Um, so it was very difficult. But um, I ended up coming in seventh in physique and eighth in figure. I did email my judges, which is something I'd recommend you do if they give you an email address to email judges and ask for critique. Um, they'll usually ask for a picture from your front pose and your back pose. And that is something that I did do. I have not heard back from the figure judge, but I did talk to a figure judge there, um, which I was lucky enough to do. And the figure judge commented that they thought my back was too lean. So that is something that I'm probably not going to do figure again next year. I want to put on more muscle, like I said, and that is something they didn't like. They didn't like how lean my back came in. And next year, the NPC came out saying that they want the smaller size. So I think if they're already giving me critiques that my back was too lean this year and next year wanting smaller girls, I just think that figure is not where my heart is. And that's something that I'm not 100% I don't love, so there's no point for me trying to work that into what I want to be. Like, I'm not going to reduce the amount of muscle I have or try to lose some of my size to compete in figure, um, which is, physique is what I love doing. I love doing the posing routines. I love that size. I love not having to wear heels on stage. Um, so I emailed my physique judge. They said, I just need a little more size in my shoulders and back, which is something me and my coach knew going in. Um, our goal was, since I didn't have the quite the mass that they were looking for, to go in super lean, which is why I did come in just a little under 6% um, to try to make up for the fact that I didn't have the size. So our goals for, obviously, the off-season are to build my shoulders and build my back and come in with the best package I can next year. Um, something about competitions. Don't get disheartened if you don't place. My goal was top 10. This is a big show. I came in 7th in figure last year, so I wanted to come in about the same this year, and that's what I did. Um, you could go into a show one week and come in first and do a show the next week and come in last. It's a very subjective sport, so what you need to do is come in with the body that you love. You need to bring the best package you can and be happy with it because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. I mean, if the judges love you and you come in first, I mean, that's amazing. But on the on the other hand, if you come in, like I came in seventh, I'm very excited about seventh. It was my first year doing physique. There were some really, really good girls there. There was a lot of girls at the show. So seventh, I am more than happy with, you know. Uh, I love how my body looked. I loved how I felt. And that's all that matters. So I think you just need to be happy with yourself and learn to love yourself at every stage of prep. And if you email the judges and they give you critiques, that gives you something to work on for the off season. So at the end of the day, I think you just, you are never going to be happy with your body. I'm not saying you're unhappy with your body, but there's always going to be stuff that you're going to want to fix. So just come in better than last year. That's all you can ask for. 
Um, but I know I've been rambling and I've probably said um 9,000 times, but that's just a brief update. I'll also include some pictures from the show. Some of the pictures aren't very good just because they're from so far away. Um, there was a lot of people at the show. Seating wasn't that great and they didn't really allow photography close up because they want you to use their photography. And unfortunately, I have no stage shots taken by the photographer of me doing physique. For some reason, they only took pictures of me doing figure. So I'll put those on here also, and I have part of my posing routine, and I'll throw that at the end also. Um, I think that's about it. Thanks.